The Wolf of Wall Street is a 2013 biographical black comedy crime film directed by Martin Scorsese. The film is based on the memoir of the same name by Jordan Belfort, a former stockbroker who engaged in illegal activities and excessive wealth during the 1990s. Here's a full explanation of the film. The Wolf of Wall Street follows the rise and fall of Jordan Belfort, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, as he becomes a wealthy stockbroker and the founder of the brokerage firm Stratton Oakmont. The film is set in the late 1980s and early 1990s when Belfort's firm experiences rapid success and engages in various illegal activities. The story begins with Belfort working as a junior stockbroker on Wall Street. He is mentored by Mark Hanna, Matthew McConaughey, who teaches him the tricks of the trade, including the excessive use of drugs and living a lavish lifestyle. After the Black Monday stock market crash in 1987, Belfort loses his job and eventually starts his firm, Stratton Oakmont. With the help of his partner Donny Ozoff, Jonah Hill, and a group of ambitious young brokers, Belfort builds Stratton Oakmont into a highly successful brokerage firm. They employ aggressive sales tactics, manipulate stock prices, and defraud investors to generate enormous profits for themselves. As their wealth and influence grow, Belfort and his colleagues indulge in a life of extreme excess, including drug abuse, extravagant parties, and extravagant purchases. Belfort's behavior becomes increasingly reckless, and he attracts the attention of the FBI and agent Patrick Denham, Kyle Chandler, who begins investigating the illegal activities at Stratton Oakmont. Despite increasing scrutiny and legal troubles, Belfort and his team continue to live a life of debauchery and continue their fraudulent practices. However, as the FBI closes in on Belfort, his personal life crumbles, and his empire starts to unravel. His excessive lifestyle leads to the dissolution of his marriage, strained relationships with his associates, and the loss of his wealth and power. In the film's climax, Belfort is eventually arrested and charged with securities fraud and money laundering. He strikes a deal with the FBI and agrees to cooperate in their investigation, leading to the arrest and conviction of several of his colleagues. Belfort serves a reduced sentence and starts a new career as a motivational speaker. The Wolf of Wall Street is known for its depiction of excessive greed, debauchery, and moral corruption within the world of high finance. The film explores themes of ambition, materialism, and the consequences of unchecked power. It is characterized by its fast-paced storytelling, dark humor, and Martin Scorsese's dynamic direction. The film received critical acclaim, particularly for Leonardo DiCaprio's performance as Jordan Belfort, and was nominated for several Academy Awards. It generated controversy for its explicit content and portrayal of unethical behavior, but it also served as a critique of the excessive culture and unchecked greed in the financial industry. Overall, the Wolf of Wall Street is a compelling and cautionary tale that exposes the excesses and moral decay of the financial world. It offers an unflinching look at the dark side of ambition and the consequences of unbridled greed. Like, share, subscribe.